Endipamide is a type of medicine called a diuretic. Diuretics are sometimes called water tablets because they make you pee more. This helps get rid of extra fluid in your body. Endipamide is used to treat high blood pressure hypertension. It's also sometimes used to treat heart failure and the buildup of fluid in your body edema. Endipamide is only available on prescription. It comes as standard tablets and slow release tablets, which release the medicine into your body gradually. Endipamide sometimes comes mixed with perindipril to also treat high blood pressure. Key facts you'll usually take endipamide once a day in the morning. The most common side effect is a skin rash. Endipamide is not usually recommended during pregnancy or if you're breastfeeding. Endipamide can cause low levels of sodium salt in your body. So very strict low salt diets are not recommended. You can drink alcohol while taking endipamide. But drinking too much can lower your blood pressure and make you feel dizzy or lightheaded. Who can take endipamide? Most adults aged 18 and over can take endipamide. Who may not be able to take endipamide? Endipamide is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you. Tell your doctor if you have ever had an allergic reaction to endipamide or any other medicine are trying to get pregnant, are pregnant, or breastfeeding have liver or kidney disease, have low levels potassium or sodium, or high levels of calcium in your blood, have gout, have diabetes, have an inflammatory condition, called systemic lupus erythematosus, have heart rhythm problems such as arrhythmia, have underactive, Adrenal glands Addison's disease have a rare disease called porphyria dosage. And strength endipamide comes as 2.5 mg standard tablets and as 1.5 mg slow release tablets. The usual dose of endipamide to treat heart failure is 2. 5 mg to 5 mg taken once a day as standard tablets high blood pressure is 2. 5 mg taken once a day as standard tablets or 1. 5 mg taken once a day as slow release tablets how to take it it's best to take endipamide in the morning. If you take endipamide too late in the day you may have to get up during the night to go to the toilet. Swallow the tablets whole with a drink of water. You can take endipamide with or without food. Do not crush or chew slow release tablets as this stops them from working properly. How long to take it for as with other medicines for high blood pressure or heart failure, you will usually have to take endipamide for a long time, probably for the rest of your life. It's important to carry on taking your medicines even if you feel well. Talk to your doctor if you want to stop taking endipamide. If you stop taking it, your blood pressure is likely to rise, and this may increase your risk of heart attack and stroke. If you're bothered by side effects, your doctor may be able to recommend a different medicine for you. If you get ill while taking it, contact your doctor if you're ill with a high temperature, you're sweating and shaking, you're being sick, vomiting, or have severe diarrhea, your doctor may recommend you stop taking endipamide for one to two days until you are better. You can start to take it again when you're eating and drinking normally. If you take endipamide when you have an illness that makes you dehydrated, it can make the dehydration worse. If you forget to take it, if you forget to take your dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if you usually take your dose in the morning and it is after 4 p.m., skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time. Do not take two doses to make up for a forgotten dose. If you often forget doses, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. You could also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you remember to take your medicines. If you take too much if you have taken more than your prescribed dose of endipamide, you may feel sick nausea or be sick vomit feel very thirsty have diarrhea feel faint. Dizzy or weak feel sleepy have muscle cramps common side effects these common side effects of Endipamide happen in more than 1 in 100 people. There are things you can do to help cope with them, mild skin rash feeling, or being sick nausea or vomiting feeling dizzy or faint speak to a doctor, 
or pharmacist if the advice on how to cope does not help. And a side effect is still bothering you or does not go away. Serious side effects Serious side effects are usually rare and happen in less than 1 in 1,000 people. Tell your doctor or call 111 straight away if you get an irregular heartbeat arrhythmia get a severe stomach pain that develops suddenly along with feeling or being sick, diarrhea, indigestion, a high temperature and tenderness or swelling of your stomach these could be signs of pancreatitis feel or start being sick, get yellow eyes or skin, although this may be less obvious on brown or black skin, have dark pee, pale poo, tiredness and loss of appetite these could be signs of liver disease serious allergic reaction in rare cases, endopamide may cause a serious allergic reaction anaphylaxis